As we're waiting, I'm going to use a cuticle oil on your nails. It's so soft too. All well done, Jane. Just looking at the weather to see how cold it will be tonight. But I've got the fireplace going, so this bedroom is going to be warm and toasty the whole night. Okay, I'm going to do your hair first, and then your skincare. My favorite, favorite part of having a sleepover. I brush it through with my favorite. else in my bedroom. But first, I'm going to spray it with a bit of my sleeping perfume. I've been using a sleep perfume, a perfume that I only spray as I'm going to sleep. It kind of helps me to, like, it makes my body sleepy. Reminds my body that it's time to go to sleep, that it's time to lay down for the night. And it's Ambery Saffron from Dossier. Do you know, like, that trendy, really expensive Baccarat Rouge perfume that, like, nearly everyone has been raving about? It smells exactly like that. And that retails for $400. I know, crazy, but this only costs $49, so I'm using this expensive, luxurious perfume to help me fall asleep. It's got saffron, orange blossom, jasmine plum, cedarwood, oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. It's described to be like this warm, scorching, sultry scent, but I feel like it's more of a sweet scent to me. Maybe that's just my own personal <laughs> nose and opinion, but yeah. It gives me like that image of that girl, you know, at school who has everything put together. Like her hair, her makeup, her clothes, her grades, everything.
It's part of having a sleepover, eating during a time when one shouldn't really be eating. It's part of the fun. Eating past midnight used to feel so forbidden when I was younger. Now it's almost a normal. Something to help us fall asleep today. But don't fall so quickly asleep. You'll leave me alone. You know, it hurts to be left like the last person that's awake at a sleepover. I've had that happen to me just way too many times. I'm such a night owl. But to keep you awake for a little longer, I've got some popcorn. Strawberry and butter salt popcorn. Because you are a huge, huge fan of strawberries and I'm a huge fan of pink, so I thought it would be perfect for a sleepover. And I never realized that. Strawberry popcorn was a thing, but I did see like a few pink colored popcorns. Maybe that's what it always was Well, here you go. Let me know what you think What your verdict is on that But I also got chocolates as well Pink of course Strawberry and cream white chocolate and stuff, but I was never compelled to actually buy it until I saw it in this pink heart packaging. <laughs> I can smell it from here. Which one? Which one? Do, do, do. Open it up for you. I hope it 
doesn't taste weird with a combination of popcorn. Is it okay? But to wash it all down, I got some tea. Tea, 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 tea. I brewed some almond cookie herbal tea. It's got apple pieces, almonds, cinnamon pieces, and beetroot. So that the tea, the color itself, is pink as well. Mmm. So much pink. satin bow clip just like the best thing for us to put on like oh no our bag or just really anywhere you want I bought like the same thing and I've I've been hiding it for two weeks I've been wanting to put it on my purses and stuff but I kind of wanted to give this to you in our sleepover so I kind of had like this little secret but now we could use it together so cute I'm gonna try a chocolate for myself as well. Mm. 
Mm. That's really good. I didn't think I would like white chocolate all that much. Oh no, this is really dangerous. I could finish the whole tray. Okay, Lint Lindor. I can see the hype now. Have you seen videos of people melting like their chocolates into their expresses and making coffee at home? I think I'm gonna do that. You know what? I know I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have to finish this because if not, I'm gonna finish it for you. What? You already finished with your tea? You're supposed to enjoy it like sip by sip, not down the whole cup. It's really good though, isn't it? your nose. Alright, 
Once you use a toner pad, you can't go back. You cannot go back. Especially when you think your face is clean, but then you use a toner pad and see all like the gunk on the pad. side This one's not a serum, it's an apple. A Centa Madagascar Centella Pormizing Fresh Apple. This is so moisturizing. I use it AM and PM, and it's especially nice to use before putting on your makeup as well. Especially on cold days like today.
then we could go on to the serum. This is a five flower dark spot clearing serum for your hyperpigmentation. This one into my hands. It's a lot more thicker than the ample. shining from within using this in the morning too you know to see if it feels different when you put on makeup during the day now I really need you to like stop stacking because it's time for the lip mask
Oh no, it's sliding down. of oil on each nail during the night and your nails will look so nice in the morning other hand did you skip dinner? Give me like a minute and I'll let you eat again. Okay. Let's take it off right now. How does it feel? It already feels like a uh, like a lip balm on your lips. Good. Just want to take an after photo. give you like your favorite product that I used on you for you to take. I'm willing to part with a product or two if you really like any of them.
use as a toner, as a sheet mask, day and night. And also, I'll recommend this apple. If we just use these two together, I feel like there will be a huge difference to your skin. Especially hydration wise and like if your skin is dehydrated and dry, maybe even texture wise. If your skin doesn't fare well with thick moisturizers, then I'll also recommend this jelly cream. Also, if you tend to suffer from like certain dry patches, like after you put on your makeup, I recommend putting in like a Q-tip into like this gel cream and just like rubbing that Q-tip in those certain dry areas before you put on your base, before you put on your foundation. I'm telling you, world of a difference. And of course, I recommend this perfume as well. To use during the night, like I do, or if you want to be that expensive girl, to use it during the day. this pillow to use today. Also like an arm warmer. <laughs> it's so soft too. I only used it once. Because I thought that, you know, <laughs> if you ended up liking it and wanted to take it, like, I wouldn't be able to part with it if I used it every single night. So I only used it once and didn't let temptation win. It's so cute too. Like it's like the perfect size to put like even like just behind your neck and like the perfect thickness to elevate your head as well. really cold in the morning. Just like, put your arms in and, you know, walk around your room. Walk to the kitchen and get yourself something to eat. And keep warm. Okay. You'll take this. If you need an extra pillow, I also got this special vintage-esque pillow that says there is nothing like staying home for real comfort. It's Jane Austen. Speaking of Jane Austen, years now and it's just collecting dust on my shelf. Like I can't call myself a Jane Austen fan if like I never read her books, you know? So this I'll give it to you what to do if you need. Did I give you blankets? not going to be the friend that like forgets to <laughs> give you blankets and pillows when you're coming over to my house to sleep. Like when you come over to my house, you're not going to get caught sleeping under like my curtain or under a piece of cardboard box because that's ridiculous. One more cup of tea. Wait, I just realized 
is like a dark cup, isn't it? Hmm. Probably gonna have to pee in the middle of the night, but the restroom is just like right next to my bedroom, so it shouldn't be that inconvenient. I don't mind. I'm probably not. Like I'm not going to go to sleep until. Wait, what time is it right now? Oh, it's like 2:40. I don't think I'm gonna go to sleep until five, six. It's the weekend. I'm gonna pour a cup for myself and she gonna eat more chocolates. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's actually really good. And I haven't had a midnight snack in like over over three months. Finished all tray. 